Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it. I can't escape it, can I? I have to go through with it, don't I? <laughs> All right, here we go. The Star Wars Holiday Special. The rumors were true, people. In 1978, an actual Christmas special was released under the Star Wars name. And it's not like they just got some of the supporting actors to be in it. No, they got the whole friggin' cast. Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, James Earl Jones, the worst. And not only that, it has guest stars like Art Carney, Harvey Corman, and B. Arthur. Because like most people, when you think Star Wars, you fucking think B. Arthur. This special has never re-aired, and to this day, George Lucas has apparently gone out of his way to make sure that nobody sees it. So just to recap, this is the guy who said this is okay, and this is okay. Which means this is the project that he was personally ashamed of. I'm gonna go over that again. Okay? Okay. Personally ashamed of. There are not enough toilets in the world to contain the amount of shit-spewing fear that I am going through right now. But, in the spirit of Christmas, I feel I owe it to you to give the audience a gift to review this heinous special. Begin. So we see Han Solo and Chewbacca fighting off the stock footage from the first movie as they try to make playful banter. I'll get you back there in time, pal. Trust me. That's the spirit. You'll be celebrating Life Day before you know it. Life what? You'll be celebrating Life Day before you know it. Life Day? What the hell is Life Day? Yes, perhaps I should have rephrased this title a bit. It's not really a Christmas special as much as it is a holiday special. Christmas isn't even mentioned. Instead, we get a Wookiee holiday known as Life Day. A holiday probably invented by Jawa advertisers to make more money. We then cut to a beautiful matte painting where Chewbacca's family lives. Why, who's that cute little hunk of armpit hair? I'm guessing it's Chewbacca's son, but it's sort of hard to tell considering that they never speak English. <laughs> Oh my god, we're gonna have to listen to this throughout the entire special, aren't we? If you thought Chewbacca's roar got annoying at times, try a fucking choir of it. Well, I do believe that perhaps- yeah, my ears are bleeding. Thank you, special, my ears are bleeding. Five minutes in, ears bleeding. Thank you. How about some subtitles, you jerks? It's bad enough we have to listen to them belch their lines, but we can't even understand what they're saying! <laughs> Seriously, it's like watching a Wookiee reality show. Where's the lasers? Where are the starships? Is the hairball equivalent of Norman Rockwell really the only thing we're gonna get? What do you think the script for this looked like? Do you think it actually explained any more about what's going on? Believe it or not, I actually have a copy of the screenplay right here. Let's see what it says. Okay, what's this? Alright, you're halfway there, Special. You're in fact doing something, but how about something that actually makes sense? Whoa! Who's doing the 69 assault there? <sighs> I have no idea what's going on. It's like watching the Star Wars prequels. 
So if you're following the story okay, and trust me, I know you are, we learn that they have to contact Luke Skywalker to find out what's keeping Chewbacca so long. Oh, he's not there yet, is that it? Whoa, when did Skywalker turn into a Ken doll? I mean, look at him, he looks like a store mannequin. Was the 12-year-old tomboy look just in at the time? Oh, boy, he and Han left here on schedule. If he's not there now, they're way overdue. Well, that just perms my hair. Come on, don't look so worried. Now Chewie's not gonna want to come home to a house full of long faces, is he? Come on, Mala, let's see a little smile. Come on. <laughs> That's better. Okay, a Wookiee smiling should be outlawed. So one of the Wookiees, I guess, turns on a cooking show where we see, oh my god. Wonderful, just adds that touch of frequency. Harvey Corman, no. Who the hell designed that thing? He looks like a mix between Cinderella's stepmother and that robot maid from the Jetsons. So it's stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir. Stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir. Now, let's try it again. Stir, whip, stir, whip. Whip, whip, stir, stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir, stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir, beat, stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir, beat, stir, whip, 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 stir, stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir, stir, whip, 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 stir, stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir, whip, 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 they never actually acknowledge what Life Day is? I mean, my guess is it's a celebration of life, but what does that entail? What's the history of it? How long has it been around? It's not really much of a holiday special if you don't explain the goddamn holiday! Oh good, we're back to the Wookiees. That was about, what, 20 seconds of Harrison Ford you just saw there? You know, when you hire the cast of Star Wars, we expect to see the cast of Star Wars, not these walking dog anuses all day. Yeah, the dialogue is still riveting. Why if it isn't Art Carney, and yes, I double-checked, I know it's really him. I guess he's helping the Rebels in their battle against the Empire, and Chewie's family are friends of the Resistance. Why all the long, hairy faces? I made it through the Imperial Patrol tonight. What you talking about, Carney? And now for the lovely lady of the house. That was a lady the whole time? Happy Life Day. You'll insert this proton pack. I thought you might like this. One of those, uh... Oh, it's a real... It's kind of hard to explain. It's a, uh... Wow! World of Warcraft? So I think Grandpa Wookie enters the Matrix or something as we see him enter some kind of machine where he watches... Wookie Sperm. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. I exist for you. I am in your mind. As you create me. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. We are excited, aren't we? Relax. Just relax. Now. We can have a good time. Can't we? Is this a traditional life day pastime? I am your fantasy. I am your experience. I am your so experience. Me. This is wrong. This is a holocaust of wrong. I am your pleasure. This is our way me together. I know you like it shaved. And this is what Wookiees look like without all our fur. I find you adorable. Yo, why can't we see Grandpa's hands? This is our moment together in time. That we might return this moment into an eternity. Star Wars, I can tell right away. Hell, would you even connect it to a holiday special? Second, are humans just the most attractive creatures in the universe? I mean, you got Jabba putting Leia in that slave outfit, and now you got a Wookiee jerking off to this chick. How many interspecies love nests are there? Oh good, because this special wasn't getting enough already. 